Okay, so I'm out in my garage screwing around with my with my handy dandy little wood gas stove, and this is uh, this is the one that I made out of the out of the Progresso can. That piece of wire is just a pot stand down there. This is about the Progresso cans in the middle with the quart paint can on it, and uh, I found out with a suggestion on uh, from the budget bushcrafter that the top to the wood gas stove fits perfectly on the GSI Glacier Cup. Watch this. Perfect. And it stays on, too. Uh, so now that just turns the GSI Cup into a, into a perfect light cooking article. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about what if you if you don't want to use wood in your wood gas stove? What happens if you want to use an alcohol stove in it? Now, you might be saying, Matt, that's stupid. Why would I build a wood gas stove and not use wood in it? Well, I, I, don't, I, I like using wood, but wood really darkens the bottom of your pots and cups, and it's really hard to scrub off. Uh, these alcohol stoves last pretty good and they get really really hot and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a picture of this burning uh, on a test burn I did yesterday and it just it, it's it heats uh, you know two cups of water in the Moore's bush pot incredibly so here's a quart paint can here's a little alcohol stove you put about two ounces of alcohol in it and what and the theory behind this is you just put your alcohol stove down in your wood gas stove light it up works great incredible wind screen okay but the only problem is that's about three or four inches down there and if you have a pot stand on it you know you're a long ways away from your flame by the way the old Lixada Trangia spirit burner fits in there perfectly also so here's what I did solve that problem I found a looked around and I found a can with a diameter that would just fit inside the uh, Progresso can that I made the wood gas stove out of. This happens to be about a third of the bottom of a uh, can of Bush's baked beans. So, you know, you strip the label, cut, the, cut two thirds of the can off, save the bottom, and here you go. Put this, drop this straight down in there, okay? And it doesn't rattle around. So there's your, there's your stand. Now when you put the alcohol stove in now it's bits propped up another couple of inches and it fits on the bottom of the stand perfectly and your flame is only about an inch below this now with your pot stand on here you're gonna be right here and believe me this thing burns wide open it's got two speeds wide open and stop it's like a flamethrower if you wanted to use the Trangia just drop it in there you go. It works also. So uh, now I'm going to post a picture of what it looked like burning this thing yesterday with the stand on and using this um, beer can stove. Okay, so that was an awesome picture, and this thing worked like a flamethrower, man. So here's another here's another little tip that that you could, that you can use if you want to. Uh, if you if you decide you don't want to use wood and you want to cook it a little bit neater, try using an alcohol stove or a transient spirit burner in there. All you got to do is get a cup, look around, and not cup, get look around and get a can that will just fit inside the the Progresso can. You know, it's just got to be small enough diameter to go in there. Cut it. This is about... This is about... Alright, an inch and a half. So, you're jacking your burner up about an inch and a half to make your wood gas stove an effective, a very effective alcohol burner. So, this is Matt from Florida Boy Survival. That's my tip of the day. See you on the trail.